Hello friends, this is Digi Vedan. Thank you for joining in the YouTube show. In this video, I am going to discuss about static and private constructor in C sharp. So the three constructor that is the famous and they all parameterize and copy constructor. I already have discussed these three constructors in the previous video. So if you haven't this haven't watched that video, then please watch that video. Okay, so now let's get started. So static constructor. Static constructor is nothing but a static constructor is used to initialize any static data or to perform a particular action that needs to be performed once only. Okay, the so next point is it is called automatically before the first instance first instance is created or any static members are present. Okay, so there are some um, properties. So I will discuss in later. First, we I am going to open my Visual Studio with the help of example. So I am going to discuss with the help of example so you can understand easily. Now I have opened my Visual Studio. I am going to create a class. So first of all, I am going to add a class here. In this add a class. So in this static aspect, I am going to discuss. So Okay, so I have added a class here. So in this, I am going to talk about static constructor. Okay, so first of all, I have created this class. In this class, I am going to create a constructor. It is nothing but a static constructor. Static ST constructor. Okay. So it is my static constructor. So in this, I am going to write a line. One statement is nothing but static constructor. Okay. So one more method I am going to create here. Suppose this is my public method. Public void test. Okay. This also I want to state to that statement. It's that matter. Okay. So I am going to create one more class here. Suppose in this class I don't have any main method. Okay. So I am going to create one more class here. Suppose a class then okay then. So this is my demo class. Is sorry, in this class I want to call this method. Okay, so as we know that, so before going to discuss this, I want to tell you some properties so you can understand this. A uh, static constructor doesn't does not take any access modifier or add parameter. So it, this the static constructor does not have any access modifier and it is also doesn't accept any parameter. The next point is a static constructor cannot be called directly. Actually we cannot call directly that method, it is automatically called. Okay, when we are going to access or we are going to run this class, it is automatically called by the compiler. Okay, a static constructor is called automatically. That is, I have to be clear and uh, automatically to initialize the class before the first instance is created or any static members are attached. Okay, so understand. So, suppose in this demo class, I am going to create a static main method. Go ahead, main method. I am going to declare a main method. In this main method, I am going to call this class. Okay, I want to access the uh, this class properties. Okay, so this method I want to call. Okay, so how we will call? First, we need to create an instance of this class. So st constructor so we did also new. So I have created one object of this class. So suppose I want to call this constructor. This is a static constructor. So we cannot call that. Static constructor is at the actual string is split. 
so i am going to call this method this method is automatically called okay so this constructor of method this constructor method is automatically called by the compiler so suppose here obj dot test method test method i am going to call this method and control dot read line so you can understand without calling this method i can call i can access okay so this is suppose first of all i just need to check this is a demo method demo class so i am going to run okay. now i am going to run this class test f type now we can see the output the static constructor and test method two lines we will print here printed in static constructor and test method so without calling this constructor it's called by automatically by the compiler so without calling this method we can or suppose i want to call this method to be dot st it is not showing us so one more thing here it does not have any parameter suppose i want to define here some parameters some so what is saying a static constructor must be parameterless so it is not having any parameter the static constructor always with parameterless okay so it is always parameterless constructor okay so next point is the user has no control on when the static constructor is executed the program okay so the user doesn't have any control this static constructor okay so this is all about the static constructor now i am going to discuss about the uh, private constructor in c okay so private constructor so when a constructor is created with para private constructor it's called private constructor okay the one more point is here if a class has one or more private constructor and no public constructor then other classes is not allowed to create instance of instance of this class this means we can neither create the object of the class nor it can be inherited inherit by other class okay so the main purpose of creating private constructor is used to restrict the class from being instantiated when it contains every member as static so now let's see with the practically so i am going to add one more class here suppose class name is pr constructor okay. pr constructor cs okay so in this class i am going to talk about the private constructor this you can understand easily so first of all i am going to create some uh, private constructor suppose public public pr so now i want to write some statement here in this class but it is not private constructor but the next one is private suppose private uh, private Okay, so this is a private constructor. So I want to add some statement here. Private constructor. Private constructor. Okay. So before this method, I am going to create one more method in my public. Public or PR constructor. PR. Now we can see the error here. That PR constructor already defines a member called CTOR with the same parameter types. Okay, so there is it is without parameterless and it is also parameterless and this is also parameterless. That means without parameter. So we need to add 
some parameter in this suppose in a okay friends so now first of all i need to add this variable so public public in a okay this integer variable i am going to add here so now what i want to do here this dot a is equal to suppose this is my b okay so this dot a is equal to b okay friends so now i am going to add one more class here so class class test okay in this test class i want to call this method okay so in this class i am going to add main method that is called main okay friends so i want to create object of this class so as we know that this private constructor is have the control to restrict the class from being inherited or changed the main purpose of creating private constructor is to to restrict the class from being inherited when it contains every member as static now you can see i am going to create the object of this class pr constructor opc equal to new pr constructor now you can see the error so what is the error is here the pr constructor dot pr constructor is inaccessible due to its protection level so the private constructor is stopping the uh, creating the instance okay so now what i am going to do here i am going to pass this parameter here so integer parameter i am going to call this method or i want to pass this parameter here suppose it is asking integer value so i am passing here five okay now let's see the function dot right line here what i am going to do here object obj dot a okay so object, object obj dot a is nothing but this is this object okay so now it will print the value of uh, a is five okay so this value is nothing but this value the v value is five i am going to call this object obj a dot a okay so in this i want to uh, give the value of v is nothing but five so it will print the value of five so console dot read line so now i am going to run this class so you can see the output so first of all see the test method test class so in this class i don't have any method so i am going to run this class now see the output is five okay so this is all about the private constructor and the static constructor so static constructor and private constructor is very important to understand so my no so now i hope you will enjoy this video and if you till now did not subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel so here you will get all the most important attributes and don't forget to hit this bell icon so this bell icon will help you to give the notification for my new video so here most of the important questions are available and in the playlist you can choose any playlist and you can study okay so it is very easy videos to understand and it will give you the more confidence to crack the interview and to understand the concept better so this is my facebook page www.facebook.com let's interview for this is my blog so you can visit this blog Thank you guys and all the best.